So let's take a look at that task definition file that we talked about that is used to launch our uh, tasks or services. So what you do is you'd go hit the create new task definition and this would actually have a wizard to help you uh, get set up. But if you had to write this by hand, this is what the actual file would look like. Um, and in this file, you can define multiple containers within a task, which is actually what we're doing here on the right hand side. And the Docker images can be provided either by uh, uh, ECR, which is Elastic Container uh, Repository, which we'll talk about in the next slide, or an official Docker repository such as Docker Hub. So here you can see that we are specifying an image and that image is WordPress. Um, and then another important thing is that you must have at least one essential container. So if this container fails or stops, then all the other containers will be stopped. So this is just to make sure that you have at least one dependent um, resource there. And if you aren't sure how this file works, it's okay because AWS has that wizard. So when you click that create new task definition button there at the top, they have all the fields that you fill out to create this. But if you wanted to create by hand, you could totally do so.